Jake has had a long history of talking a big game. This time, he has his sights set on McGregor and is hellbent on fighting the Notorious. Let's get into everything we know so far about Paul's call out. So what are Jake's demands? Contrary to popular belief, it seems like when he said he would face Conor McGregor inside the octagon, Jake Paul wasn't actually joking. He took to Twitter to offer UFC president Dana White a challenge earlier this month, which was to sign him to a one fight deal to fight McGregor. And if he wins that fight, then the UFC increases fighting pay and offers full health care. He will never mention the UFC again if McGregor manages to win. Despite it being his first MMA fight, Paul said he was serious about the challenge and feels he would do quite well against the former two-division champion in a recent interview with TMZ. He definitely knows how to talk a big game for being a relatively new fighter. He stated that Connor is on a downhill spiral because his limbs are all broken, so in the stand-up game, he's knocking him out in the first round. We hope he manages to put his money where his mouth is. He was referencing the broken leg that McGregor sustained in his last fight in a defeat by Justin Poirier. To avenge his own knockout defeat by McGregor from 2014, that bout in July followed the Irishman's first loss to Poirier, who knocked out his old rival last January. Talk about revenge. <laughs> he continued by saying if he wins, then Dana has to increase the minimum of fighter pay, but if he loses, then they can take all of the money. However, Paul is so ridiculously confident that he can beat McGregor. Whether that's confidence or delusion that is yet to be seen. Why is Jake so confident that he will win. According to Jake, Connor is on the decline because he's A, drunk all the time, B, lost his motivation, and C, doesn't really have a reason for why he's fighting other than his ego. Meanwhile, he thinks he's getting exponentially better every single day. So the way Jake sees it is that right now it's bad for McGregor no matter what way he slices it, and that's why he says he'll fight him in MMA because Jake just doesn't think he'll take it in boxing. He thinks he's a better boxer than Poirier, who was McGregor's last opponent and managed to knock the Irishman out last January. He also thinks McGregor's drinking habits are taking a toll on him while his career is going on an upwards trajectory. He quite brazenly added that he thinks McGregor looks like bleak. For him, it goes back to the notorious being out of his prime and him barely coming into it. He says he hasn't reached his man strength yet, whatever that is. During his recovery from the broken leg he suffered in his trilogy fight with Poirier last summer, McGregor has admitted to drinking heavily, but for his expected return later this year, he's promised fans to abstain when he begins his training camp. Next, Paul has a vendetta against White. For how his promotion compensates its roster, he's been on an escapade against UFC President Dana White, garnering the support of UFC fighters such as Francis Nagano and others for speaking out on fighter pay. He's been a critic of White openly. Jake has been rather vocal for the pay of UFC fighters in particular. He has a history of taking shots at the UFC and Dana White. In order to get fighters paid more, they have even challenged each other to challenges. Most of the time it comes off as he's trolling rather than being sincere. However, he is a huge advocate for fighter pay, including MMA veteran Sam Alvey. However, some fighters feel that his concern about UFC fighter pay are a farce. For a newbie to be so concerned about fighter pay being a cause of concern to veterans makes sense. What are Paul's chances within the UFC. Jake has also said that he's been having discussions with Bellator and the PFL, and even if he doesn't get the opportunity to compete in the UFC, he's pretty much set to compete somewhere at the very least. The problem child has also stated that his return to the boxing ring could take place in August. He's fighting in the UFC, and he's fighting the sport's biggest star if he had his druthers. If the pair were to fight, even in a mixed martial arts bout, he has made it abundantly clear that he would knock out McGregor in the first round. We love the confidence this kid has, truly. Okay, well, all things considered, having knocked out two former UFC stars, Tyron Woodley and Ben Askren, he is currently 5-0 as a professional boxer. While Askren reigned in the same weight class in other companies, Woodley held the promotion's welterweight title, so they were by no means easy wins for him. The 25-year-old has teased the venture into MMA and has long called out McGregor, who as the first ever dual weight champion in the history of the promotion previously held the UFC featherweight and lightweight belts simultaneously, so the kid really has some cojones to be calling such a legendary fighter out so persistently. Does Paul's career trajectory look bright? Knocking his last opponent out cold, he last fought against Tyron Woodley. He now holds a 2-0 record over the former UFC welterweight champion Woodley, and it was only their second matchup. He's looking forward to getting back in the ring, but he has yet to have a fight slated. The world waits anxiously for his next fight announcement. However, there were rumors going around that he could possibly be fighting someone like Anderson Silva, but we can only wait to see for now. He doesn't plan on letting up in his fight for better compensation for UFC fighters on the surface. Let's see where his loudmouth and unfiltered opinions land him career-wise. What is McGregor's
return planned? McGregor hasn't competed since his second loss to Poirier, and in 2017, he crossed into professional boxing to fight Floyd Mayweather. If they fight in either format, it'll be quite the fight to watch. The 33-year-old is targeting a late summer return to mixed martial arts action after being stopped by Mayweather in the 10th round of their clash. In a bid to become the company's first ever three-weight title holder, McGregor is keen on a fight against UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman, even though Usman isn't too fond of McGregor, so let's see how this whole thing pans out and whether or not it even comes to fruition. Next, Usman believes McGregor is a clout chaser. After the Irishman called him out to be his next opponent, reigning UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman has labeled Conor McGregor a clout chaser. Trying to become the first triple weight world champion, McGregor is seen setting his sights on moving to welterweight to take on Usman. Despite him being top of the UFC pound for pound by rankings, McGregor told the Mac Life podcast that he doesn't see a danger facing the Nigerian, naturally leaving Usman unimpressed by the comments. Usman exclusively told Sky Sports that he doesn't take anything that Connor says seriously because he understands he's just a clout chaser and is looking for clout. He continued by saying that just to announce his resurgence, he likes to attach his name to the guy at the top of the sport. Usman believes that obviously his fighting isn't doing the talking anymore, so Connor just wants to keep his name relevant. Usman added that he feels like the real competitor is him when asked to touch on whether McGregor is a worthy opponent. He stated that Connor hasn't won a fight in a couple of years. Those years being difficult ones are no excuse. Up next, McGregor in trouble with the law, as per usual. Also, in other news, the Notorious has managed to fumble the bag yet again, infamous for getting into trouble with the law on several occasions on Tuesday, March 22nd in Dublin, Ireland. He was charged with dangerous driving, and so the former UFC lightweight champion was arrested and ended up compelling law enforcement to impound his $187,000 Bentley Continental. Eventually released on bail, the 33-year-old had been transported by the local police station. He'll be forced to appear in court next month in Blanchardstown regardless of promptly reclaiming his vehicle, but a conviction could result in six months in prison. A fine of upward to 5,000 euros, or even both. At this point, it seems like pricey Bentleys and UFC superstars are a volatile mix. Fans can expect more details on his latest arrest in the coming weeks. Even McGregor has not and most likely will not comment on his recent run-in with the police. However, whatever comes of this arrest will definitely have an impact on his fight schedule and imminent return, especially if he's convicted. That's all we have for you today, folks, but we'll be back with more interesting videos, so keep your eyes peeled to stay informed about the sports industry and keep watching our videos. Tell us what you think about Jake's sentiments about potentially fighting McGregor by sounding off in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe before leaving. Signing off.